This is my Seat Lombard Rolls 5 drum machine that I have uh, altered to my own specifications to make it slightly more unique. So I'll uh, describe how this works and then on the next video we'll go on to how it actually sounds. This side of the drum machine is the pulse generators. As you can see there's hexagrams, pentagrams, diamonds and triangles. These, each node on the banana jacks um, create an individual pulse. You daisy chain these together and that changes the pulse length and the BPM. Now it's not like a conventional drum machine where you've got a set 4-4 drum pattern. Each pulse coming off is in its own time, meaning that when you get a, when you daisy chain them together and put them into the drum sounds, um, you'll end up with weird repeating drum patterns, which is pretty good and we'll show you in a minute. This side is the drum voices side. As you can see there's six drum voices. There's ultrasound filters, two of, there's two gongs and then there's two auto V dogs. On the Seat Lombard's website he's uh, just used uh, you use fixed capacitors and fixed resistors to do each of the parameters of the drum voices and the only uh, parameter he's got on a variable resistor is the cutoff frequencies. I've changed mine by putting potentiometers and rotary switches to change the damping or any of the other parameters like decay, pitch, speed um, or sensitivity to get more unique sounds. I've also designed my own drum, um, my own trigger circuit board which when the drum sound is signal um, is fired, it fires a 555 to put out a pulse. So that means that I can control other other drum machines or anything else sequences. So uh, these LEDs here signify when there's pulses, when the the drum sound pulses and fires out a trigger. I've also changed it so that there's individual out audio outs rather than just a master audio out. Although I do have control for a master left and right, and they are controlled on pans here. So um, there we go. I'll show you in a minute what it sounds like. <laughs> 